believers to pray, to seek God's face. There is nothing here that's going to happen tonight other than supporting truth and loving others. But before we kind of get into the evening, I wanted to prep some of you. Those of you that are from Candlelight know a little bit about what I want to share. But the things that are on my mind have a lot to do with why we're in the condition we're in. I mentioned a few weeks back at our church that story about the history of Israel when the northern ten tribes were first taxed by Assyria and then they were scattered by the Assyrians. This was because of their idolatry, because they loved pleasure more than they loved God, they loved their own agenda more than they loved God's word and God's command. And as a result, they were disciplined by the Lord. And the southern tribes, Judah and Benjamin, they had to watch all of this taking place in the northern part of Israel and all of the northern tribes that were scattered. And still, the southern tribes did not repent. And they did not seek after God, and they were not hungry for God. And therefore, God brought in the Babylonians to take them captive. And you guys will remember in the history that they were taken into captivity. And there are four characters that we read fundamentally about in the book of Daniel. That is Daniel. And three guys we know is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were among the three in Israel that when Nebuchadnezzar had erected a statue of himself and told people, when you hear the music playing, we want you to bow and we want you to worship the image of Nebuchadnezzar. And of all the children of Israel that were there in Babylon at that time, the Bible records for us that there were only three guys that said, no, we're not going to bow. That's a tragedy by itself. But I was studying this and I was kind of giving some thought to the fact that they must have been wondering, why are we in this condition? What is happening with us right now? Why are... Uh, we being called upon out of our country in Babylon to bow to a statue to the image of Nebuchadnezzar. And they had to realize it was because earlier on in their history, they did not do what they were called by God to do. And that is to repent and hold forth the truth, the word of God. And so there they were in Babylon. Now we're in America. We're in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And you're asking yourself, why are we in this position? Why are we having to contend for a brother and sister in Christ who just want to obey the Lord, minding their business, doing what God has called them to do, and now they're being asked to do something that they feel a conviction about and don't want to participate in. And they've been threatened with jail time and with fines. That is at the city level. We also have county problems. We have state problems. We have a United States problem. All across our country we're seeing this going on today and this is a big problem for our communities, especially believers. You guys are aware of what has happened with Hobby Lobby and what they are uh, contending for. You know about the florists. You know about the, the photographers. You know about the cake bakers. Uh, it, a person that is a, a cake baker and just doesn't want to serve a specific group of the community should be allowed to do that. But they're being forced and it's not an, uh, it's not an idea that there is no other cake maker around. It is the idea that we want you to do this and we want you to like it. And that is something that we have to take a stand and say no we won't bow. And so just like, amen. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, it is critical that we pray. It is critical that we stand. It is critical that we won't bow. Now, we also know, and we know this very clearly from the Word of God, that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were delivered by the Lord. But they told Nebuchadnezzar, we want you to know, Nebuchadnezzar, our God is able to rescue us. Our God is able to save us from this punishment from this fiery furnace. But even if he doesn't, we won't bow. And that is the position that we all have to take today. We have to say, look, we are a people called by God to be free in the Lord. 
This is bigger than our United States Constitution. This is bigger than our local governments. This is bigger than our Bill of Rights. Jesus Christ shed his blood to pay for our freedom. He is the one that called us to freedom, and we have to exercise that freedom. Our government recognized the call of God. Our government, in the formation of this, this beautiful country, allowed for, in the writings of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, to recognize the fact that God had created people and that he had given them freedoms. It was not freedom given by American government to American people. It was freedom that was given to people by God that the American government recognized. Amen. We have to be aware of the fact that it is God who we represent. Amen. And we are here to represent the love of God, the grace of God, the peace of God. No hate. This isn't an anti-rally. This is a pro believer rally. It is an opportunity for us to support a very lovely couple that run this facility, the Hitching Post, and have done so for many, many years. Now, we know that this is not yet on the door, in meaning that they have not been told, you have to do a wedding tomorrow. But they are aware of the fact that beginning tomorrow morning, I think it's at one in the afternoon, actually, the uh, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is going to hear this case. Several of the states of the United States have asked us to be brought up to the Supreme Court, and we're happy about that. We want that to take place. Uh, that pushes this back even further. But it's important that we all recognize that as we are here in this place, we're praying for Don and Lynn Knapp. As we are here in this place, we're praying for the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals as they hear this. We're praying for our local government. We're praying for our county officials. We have county officials here tonight that are here that need our support and need our love. And this is a critical time in our history, and it is a time for all of us to take a stand and say, under no circumstances will we bow. We will not bow. And so we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's begin by prayer, and then I'm going to introduce Don and Lynn Knapp to you.